is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my NXT TakeOver War Games Predictions video. Let's get straight into the first match. Okay, so coming up first we have the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Current champ Leo Rush taking on Angel Garza. And plain and simple, uh, I haven't seen much of Angel Garza. I believe I've seen some highlights um, of just one of his matches. But he's pretty good. But he's not established enough to become Cruiserweight Champion yet. So, Leo Rush to retain. On to the next match. Next up, we have a triple threat between Pete Dunne, Damian Priest and Killian Dane to determine a number one contender for the NXT Championship to face Adam Cole at Survivor Series. Now, I'm going to be doing my uh, my Survivor Series predictions now and uploading them tom um, like tomorrow as well. So, this is a difficult one, but I am going with Pete Dunne. Uh, I think ever since losing the United Kingdom Championship, Pete Dunne has sort of just been... Floating around a bit directionless. Um, I personally would love to see him win the NXT North American Championship from Roderick Strong. Um, but I believe that it will be Pete Dunne winning this triple threat match to go on to face Adam Cole at Survivor Series. Moving on. So next up is the Men's War Games match, which will feature Undisputed Era versus Dominic Dijakovic or Dijakovic. It depends on how you say it. Uh, I say... Um, Dijakovic, because that's how they say it on TV, uh, and as well as Keith Lee, Tommaso Ciampa, and to be announced. So, who can this originally be? Now, I believe Matt Riddle was originally in the War Games spot, but obviously he's got the match against uh, Finn Balor because, you know, Johnny Gargano can't compete. I think it makes the most sense for Velveteen Dream to return to compete in War Games. So I am predicting that Undisputed Era will win the match. Obviously, you know, Survivor Series the next night. we got to give Cole a win here uh, and then, you know, to boost him up for Survivor Series. And then I believe Velveteen is returning. Right, moving on to the next one. Next up, we have uh, probably my second most anticipated match on this card. The brand new heel, Finn Balor, competing in his first match since his uh, return, I guess you can say, against the bro, Matt Riddle. Finn Balor versus Matt Riddle. Going to be an absolute classic, hopefully. I can't wait for this match. But due to him recently returning and recently turning heel, I am going with Finn Balor to win onto the main event. And finally, we have the main event, or what I can only assume is going to be the main event of the evening. The first ever women's war games match featuring team captain Shayna Baszler and Rhea Ripley. The teams are as the following. Shayna Baszler, Io Shirai, Bianca Belair and to be announced versus Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae, Mia Yim and Tegan Knox. Now then, the horsewomen aren't going to be competing, I don't believe. Uh, but it is, you know, realistic for one of them to join Shayna's team. Um, obviously, once again, Shayna and Rhea are the team captains. I believe what we could be getting is maybe a Dakota Kai heel turn. Uh, but at the same time, we've just had a Bailey heel turn. And everyone was used to say that like Dakota Kai was the NXT version of like current Bailey. They're going to try and build her up like, you know, how Bailey was. So I don't know if they'll turn her heel. But maybe just because, obviously... Rhea's team like didn't pick her, so it is realistic for her to go to the other team. But I don't know. I am going with Shayna Baszler's team winning regardless. Obviously, she's the NXT Women's Champion. Obviously, I feel the champion should win uh, um, the first ever War Games match. And considering Shayna Baszler is probably the most dominant women on the entire WWE roster, we shall see. I, I'm just, I just want Shayna versus Rousey, really. I, I'm still waiting for that. But, you know, never mind. That was my War Games predictions. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned until tomorrow because that's when my Survivor Series predictions will be going up. Um, I will be watching Survivor Series with Zach. I won't be watching TakeOver Live, so there won't be any TakeOver reactions, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But anyways, please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.